Come on! How's it going everybody? So as some of you may know, I did a prediction video for the UEFA Champions League about a month ago once they announced everything would be in Lisbon. Did pretty well for my channel standards because it's obviously a hot topic right now. And yeah, as of the time I am recording this, it is literally right before Bayern Munich are about to play Lyon in the semi-final. So PSG already in the final. As good as Lyon have been, I really don't see Bayern losing this match. So I'm just praying that my result stays. And if it does, I'm obviously just gonna leave this part and you all should know it by now. So yeah, the final potentially being Bayern Munich versus PSG. Although the final has not been decided yet, I figure why don't I react to my predictions that I made a month ago along with reading your comments because I saw a lot of interesting ones. The first one being Real Madrid versus Manchester City. Now right now Manchester City does have the advantage. They barely beat Real Madrid in their last match and it was away. Pretty sure Sergio Ramos got a red card as well. Real Madrid are looking sharp recently. They're clutching every single match in La Liga. As of now, they're on the road to win it. They're just two matches away. Who knows, maybe some upset will happen, but for this match, I'm gonna say Manchester City are gonna win it though. I mean, they're still in brilliant form. They are slipping some matches, but they're still second in their league behind Liverpool. Lots of Madridistas disagreed with me, and to be fair, it was definitely doable for them to beat City. City weren't even looking that brilliant. Their goals were due to Varane's mistakes. And yeah, it's, it's a shame because that guy's a brilliant defender. Hopefully his confidence doesn't go down now in the future. It's a shame how it happened, but yeah, I knew Manchester City would beat Madrid. And yeah, that's already one right. Next up, we've got Juventus versus Lyon. Now, right now, Lyon are sitting at a one goal advantage at home. Juve weren't able to capitalize on that. However, I definitely see Juventus making a comeback in the second leg. I know some of you thought Lyon could do it because they already had the advantage, but I'm sure most of us did believe in CR7, considering he's done it so many times in the past. And he actually almost did this time. He did get two goals against Lyon in the second leg. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. So, if he got that hat trick, though, he would be considered an absolute hero. And yeah, it's a shame because I want to see the best out of Ronaldo and Messi before they retire. But... At the same time, it's nice to see an underdog go so far, so bravo Lyon. I'm not going to beat myself up about this prediction, but it's crazy how it happened. Next up, we got Barcelona versus Napoli. The last match, Arturo Vidal picked up a red card and the match ended at 1-1. Barcelona do have the advantage right now because they did get an away goal. And I do see them moving forward, honestly. Although Vidal did get a red card, they have a lot of other midfield options. I think they'll survive without him, although he's sick. Napoli's a great side. They could easily do an upset. And Barcelona have been a bit shaky. They're probably not going to win La Liga. Yeah, I, I knew Barcelona would be able to beat Napoli. This season, they have been shaky, but they do have their random bits where they do perform. It was too hard to see them going down to Napoli, but I just knew they would lose to Bayern Munich. So, yeah, let, let, let's just keep going. We've got Bayern Munich versus Chelsea. Bayern Munich already are sitting at a three goal advantage. I don't see Chelsea coming back from this. And okay, yeah, I mean, that one was just so obvious. Come on. Okay, here's where it gets interesting. The first match that would be lined up is Manchester City versus Juventus. This is tough as balls. They, like, by, at this point, they're all pretty hard to predict, but I'm gonna give you my opinion anyway. I think Manchester City will be able to win against Juventus. Okay, not only were Juventus not playing City, City didn't even beat Lyon, the underdogs. Props to Lyon, big props, but City were looking pretty sloppy. I mean, if that's how they were gonna play against Lyon, I think they would have been trashed against Bayern, just like, not as bad as Barca, but still pretty bad. Next up, we've got Barcelona versus Bayern Munich, and although I'm wearing a Barcelona kit, I don't see them being Bayern Munich this season. Bayern Munich have just been too on point lately in my... All right, guys, this, this was... Wow. Okay, yeah, I got this prediction right, but I didn't think it was gonna be 8-2, and I know all of you didn't think so either. I expected Bayern to get a solid, solid lead against Barcelona. Maybe, like, final score 3-1, 4-1. Not 8-2, brate, what the f***? Especially with Coutinho getting two goals and one assist against them. That's like the biggest slap to the face. As we all know, Barcelona just need a rebuild. This was really bad. I wonder if Messi's gonna leave the club. Munich. It would be interesting to see Coutinho play in this. I don't know if he's even eligible to play in this match. This is on a one-year loan, but who knows? Messi may do wonders. Oh, that was so painful. Next up, some teams we haven't even looked at. We've got RB Leipzig versus Atletico. With RB Leipzig not getting Werner this season in the Champions League anymore. That's right, his transfer to Chelsea by then will be complete. He's not playing any more matches for him. I think Atletico will get this win. The defense game is too strong. I really thought this was going to be Atletico's opportunity to make it far. 
they didn't really have a strong road to the final considering the other teams that were there and they still failed to do it early on against Leipzig I mean props to Leipzig they're a great side I just thought since Werner left it would be difficult for them against a strong defense but wasn't strong enough they weren't ready and uh, Leipzig proved to be the better side. And then the last match in the quarterfinals, we've got Atlanta versus PSG. Atlanta have been an absolute roller coaster in this Champions League season. They were awful at the beginning. I literally was at one of their matches. Dinamo Zaga versus Atlanta, they got destroyed. And then after their three matches of just getting wrecked by each team, they pushed forward and now they're in the quarterfinals. But they are coming up against a tough opponent, PSG. And although I made my statement about PSG and the rest of Ligue 1 not being in an active season right now, I see PSG coming out on top. Atlanta love to make upsets. I mean, they just drew to Juventus. They're clearly an interesting... This was close. Atlanta was so close to being this side. They just got a little bit of cheese at the end from PSG. Two 90-minute goals. Aye, aye, that was That was tragic. I mean, I, I want to get most of my predictions right, but at the same time, I love seeing the underdogs do well. And Atalanta has a brilliant side, so it was kind of a heartbreak to see that happen. But I think out of all the matches coming up, this was the most controversial one where there could have been an upset. And it was close to happening, but it didn't. PSG ended up pulling through. And yeah, as you all know, they're in the final now. Okay, so we're looking at the semifinals. None of these matches are actually being played. I got two teams correct to be in the semifinals. PSG and Bayern Munich. Sydney Atletico were pretty disappointing. And for the first one, Manchester City versus Bayern Munich. These are actually the two sides where I'm like, okay, one of them just gotta win the whole thing. I've been praising Bayern Munich this whole time, and I'm gonna do it again. I, I see them knocking Manchester City out at this stage. Atletico versus PSG, I'm gonna give it to Atletico. Now, although PSG looks I really thought, I, th I think if Atletico did manage to make it this far, if they did get that step over Leipzig, they could have upset PSG. I don't know though, I mean, it's, it's, too hard, it's too hard to say. But, yeah, props to PSG for making it to the final. I didn't believe in you guys, and you did it. So bravo Neymar, bravo Mbappe. However, with the final potentially being PSG versus Bayern Munich, I just, I don't see PSG making it past these guys. They're too strong. But anything can happen. Maybe Neymar will just blow up Boateng's legs like Messi did five years ago. I don't know, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. All right, well, that's enough of looking at the video itself. Let's look at the comments now. 396 comments. I'm obviously not going to be looking at every single one, but I'm interested to see what you guys said. This dude knows what he is talking about. You legend. Why didn't I like this? Thank you, Brate. I appreciate it. Like the fact that he is not biased towards any club and his opinions made sense to me. It's really difficult for this Barcelona side to overcome Bayern in the quarterfinals and for Juventus to beat City. But would like to see Barcelona and Juventus getting past their opponents so that we could see Messi and Ronaldo up against each other probably for the very last time before they retire. Wow. What an emotional comment. It's pretty sad, I agree. I would like to see them come up against each other too. However, there's still a possibility. They're not leaving yet. But yeah, there was, it was nowhere near to happening. They both, Juventus and Barcelona, both did pretty poorly this CL run. So, FC Bayern Munich will be the champions. I think so too. Louis has to win the ball in door. I think so too. I think Lyon will upset Juve. Atalanta beats PSG. Bayern lose to Man City. Final will be Atletico versus City. And City will win. Atletico had the easiest route to the final. To be fair, Rusty, you did get that first one right. Lyon did upset Juve. Bravo on that. But the rest, unfortunately, you were wrong. Um, yeah, City blew it, bro. City blew it. I guess Bayern will win with Coutinho, which Barca didn't. And I want Barca to regret about that. They definitely did, brother. I know you uploaded this earlier, so you're saying that Barcelona's last La Liga game showed that they have potential to beat Bayern. No hate on Bayern, but I think they will lose to Barcelona squad because right now Barcelona have a hot flaming chance to beat them and their team is fire. Also, no hate to you, brother, but they're literally trying to get rid of like 75% of their team right now. How is that fire? Juve all the way! Nobody can stop CR7 as he is in top form. Juve's defense can. Barcelona will win UCL 2020. Just saying. Okay. Dude, this is not Bundesliga. <laughs> yeah, it's not the Bundesliga. They're doing better against these teams in the Bundesliga. You fool. Barcelona will destroy Bayern. Mark my words. <laughs> Barca 6-0 Bayern Munich. Jesus, that is bold. 
and wrong. If y'all think it's gonna be easy for Bayern, then you're wrong. Bundesliga teams aren't the same as English teams or as Spanish teams. Okay, there were definitely funnier comments in this. I swear, I checked. Some people definitely deleted them. That's the end of this video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, let me know who you think's gonna win the final. And if you're here after the final, you can laugh at me if I was wrong. But I think Bayern Munich are gonna win it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all later. Lock noche.